Yeah, I've been wanting to do a, uh, a rebuild, or maybe not a full one, but I want to at least change this beauty panel here. Um, seen a few tricks online, I figured I'd want to try them out. So, trunk's dirty right now, but all that's going to be changing soon. The first thing i got to do is just take this out, and then I'll show you a little bit of the process. Whenever I want to work on a panel for uh, for the trunk, I usually use some cardboard, like a bigger piece of cardboard. I, I usually save some boxes, like if I run across anything from a big package or a TV or something. But usually I uh, just trace it out or I'll use mainly trial and error. I'll do it, I'll cut these sides out here with a razor blade or scissors. And then I'll use that to transfer over to the wood piece. in particular I needed to look out for when cutting out the holes for this template. Uh, one of them is this trunk release right here um, and the bar right here for the uh, for the trunk or the uh, support. Here when it comes down you need to watch up you need to watch out for this part right here. But it's good to test it out just to make sure it doesn't catch on anything. So the next step is attaching these templates to the three quarter inch MDF and then using the router to cut it out. things to be mindful of when you're putting the uh, that uh, panel in the way that this curves in you can't really have a, a flat or a sharp edge on the wood um, I'll use my uh, I'll show my old setup as an example here of what I mean on here it's 
see of it at an angle here. This was, this when I made this, this is before I had a router, so I actually used a jigsaw to cut this out. It looks terrible underneath there. I'll just use a chamfer bit on the, on the new piece just so I can make it fit. using the router it's a lot cleaner and I was able to get it to fit in there pretty good particularly proud of. Uh, I didn't have a um, rabbiting bit big enough to get in that area or to cut that much out. Um, so I just made a few passes with the, uh, with the dado bit and then the chamfer bit just alternated with it. But the reason I did that is because of the trunk arm support to the springs right here. Close it. You didn't want that part to uh, to touch on the part of it because of where how far out I had the panel. So really getting all that in there is probably the hardest part in fitting it in there. And then after that, then I can start doing the, uh, the stuff to make it look nice. But next video, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and get this circle cut out so that I can have the uh, subwoofer in there. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with it. So might be a little bit before the next video comes out, but just stay tuned. <laughs>